And joining us now live from Berlin, Chairman of the Special Olympics, Timothy Shriver. Very good to see you again, Timothy, and have you back on the show. Tell us what we can expect Thanks in these World Games me. and more about the message of this very, very momentous location. Well, it's, I mean, already we're having the time of our lives. I, I can almost say without question that Berlin right now is the most welcoming place on earth. And for people who know history, they'd be shocked to think that could have happened. As you pointed out, in 1936, uh, Adolf Hitler presided over a government that was probably the most violent, contemptuous, and hate-filled government, certainly in modern history, maybe in all of history. Jesse Owens stood bravery, bravely in its face and won the gold medal, and there hasn't been an Olympic torch in this city since 1936 until now uh, that same stadium the torch was lit by the athletes of Special Olympics their message was the exact opposite of 1936 it was all about dignity for everyone inclusion for everyone and peace in a time of still divisive uh, and often violent energy in the world here we had 7,000 people and all they want the world to know is they have skill they have bravery they have courage and they want everyone treated with dignity. So it's been a real tonic for the soul to be here, honestly. There's so much bad news in the world. Here we've got uh, the champions of people telling a different story. Timothy uh, Al Sharpton, one of the things I was kind of monitoring as the buildup to uh, what you're doing there uh, is that uh, there's a resurgence of right wing and hate groups that were uh, talking a lot of the same ideology of the uh, 30s and 40s of Hitler, but I've seen no kind of, of, of showing by them to resist what you're doing. Have you found it that by doing this and doing it in such a strong way, it's kind of silenced even some of those far-right uh, hate forces in Germany? Yeah, Reverend Al, I, we haven't seen any of that, honestly. I know it exists. It exists in our country. It exists here. It exists everywhere in the world. Deeply uh, hateful groups are still out there. But, you know, the message of our athlete community is somehow this sense of being open and treating people with dignity somehow is their change strategy. And it seems to neutralize people. It seems to bring out the best in people, even those that might feel themselves on the other side of a political or an ideological divide. You know, you know this as well as anybody. Some people say the world world can't change. Some people say the world hasn't changed. But you come to Berlin right now, and I'll tell you right now, the world has changed and the world can change. But, you know, the, the, the strategy for change here is not attacking the other side. It's opening your arms and saying, hey, look, come over here, treat everybody with dignity. Let's see how that works. You know, hating on people doesn't seem to work that well when it comes to solving our problems. So, um, you know, we've got a, you know, President Kennedy was here almost 60 years ago. People of uh, maybe for all around the world remember his speech. They don't know that my mom was here with him, Eunice mm -hmm. Kennedy Shriver. And, you know, he didn't get to see the wall come down. Uh, he didn't live to, to see that historic moment, but she got to live to see the wall come down. And she also, this is her movement, she, one woman, got to live to see rise up in 190 countries around the world. Uh, an entire movement dedicated to tearing down walls. So, you know, they were here together in 1963. A lot of people thought it could never happen. Uh, but, uh, you know, peace and uh, the desire for human connection tore down that wall, and it's tearing down walls here as we sit uh, uh, preparing to watch athletes compete in all these sports and just blow the world's mind with the giftedness of the human family. All right. Special Olympics Chairman Timothy Shriver, thank you very much. Fantastic. We Isn't really it? appreciate your coming on wow. this morning.